Well, hello, viewers. How's it going? It's Corey Full of Automotive once again. For today's highlight, let's take an up-close and personal in-depth look at the 2011 Dodge Charger. And this is giving me a detailed and depth review of the Charger. We'll start up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance details, as well as show a bunch of the unique aspects of the interior, as well as exterior. Well, just before I begin the highlight, first of all, I'd like to extend a big shout-out and special thanks to Northway Chrysler, located in New Liskard, Ontario, for providing the 2011 Charger featured in today's in-depth review. For more information about their dealership and inventory, feel free to check their website by clicking on the description box below. And so, without no time to waste, let's go fire up the engine and see how she runs. As you can see, the vehicle does come standard with remote start. Now available for the first time ever on Charger models has an integrated smart key system. So all you have to do is keep the key fob in your pocket and you're able to wirelessly lock and unlock the vehicle. To lock, just tap this little mechanism here. One beep indicates locking and have to wait in a second, just grab the handle. There's a vehicle's touch sensor located behind the handle and it automatically locks the vehicle. The exterior color is finished in white metallic tricoat, featuring a full black leather interior. Now, and along with that smart key system, as you expect, the Charger also features a standard remote push button ignition. To start the vehicle, all you have to do is make sure the key fob is in the vehicle's interior, put your phone on the brake, and hit the dash mounted button to go. Very nice. Steering inputs also features a rack pinion steering system as a supercast all-wheel drive system. It also has a three-spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with color accent stitching and your brushed silver trim and your multifunction controls and your Dodge logo. As far as the gearbox, the Charger also features a 8-speed automatic gearbox with manual shiftability so you can manually shift it up and down in gears. And so we're going to flip on the automatic headlamps and hazards. Has a automatic driver's side window. So let's go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? The vehicle will also chime a few times, let you know it lost its protection at the proximity key fob. We're gonna go back and set the car. I just turned on that heater so I don't want to get myself cold. So we're gonna show the radio right now. We're going to show the few channels here. Seventies.
And I'm going to show something else. There was actually an ability for the horn to sound twice while remote starting the vehicle, so that way you can you can have confirmation to the vehicle did start with the horn sounding twice. To activate that, go to settings and go to auto on comfort and remote start. Just click the little box, and there you go. So now we're going to show the, the the settings menu. Now the settings menu that means you can you can set up your personal things here like display and uh, clock. You can change your clock right here like daytime you use uh, safety and driving assistance and lights and uh, you can use that and uh, scroll down if you want use the compass and um, you can use your blow your I mean your phone in the Bluetooth and uh, paired phones you can use that here and you can uh, pair a phone and then um, so you can uh, so you can actually uh, you can you can pair a phone if you want. You can redial or call everybody that you know. And here's climate. You can control your heater when it's cold. And then your radio. You can actually turn on your radio by using this button or this button on this control here. Change it to FM or this setting here. Okay. Okay. We're going to shut her down. Let's go check the back seat. Back seat is a perfect place to sit inside the charger. It has room for five. Only three people can fit inside this back seat here. Like boys and girls or something. Maybe like this. And there you have it. So we're going to show the trunk. Okay. So you can uh, actually, um, you can actually uh, carry your spare tire in case it's flat. Carry your your uh, your flat tire inside here. Your spare tire in case the other one goes flat. And there you have it. You also carry your groceries. Holy smoke! So now we're going to do some drive clips of it. We're going to put it in drive. Okay, we're going to move here. We're moving. Now the detailing assist steering is also different. So I'm just going to talk about it right now. Like I said, the detailing assist steering is also proven in precise. Also different about different corners. So much is ever approved. Now the vehicle's energy region system is calibrated in the air as soon as you let off the accelerator. The test of Model S is also important. Now it's also different about the chassis and steering. And, and if you steer, you might uh, get some cornering. If you go racing, you might uh, get some uh, wheel spin starts like the CSR Racing. Now when you drive this Dodge Charger on this racing, on this race, you might get some uh, money and then, um, and just like the Need for Speed Undercover races. Now when you turn the wheels hard, and push the gas at between 20,000 RPM, you will drift on the ice or on the snow. Just like that. And your traction control light will come on. Just watch carefully. All right, we're going to cut it off.
Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the 2011 Dodge Charger. Be sure to stay tuned next time. Here's a lot more where it came from. Take care everybody.